Hello mis amores and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope that you're having an amazing day. And today, I come bearing sad news. <sighs> I started reading A Little Life again. I gave it another shot. I am now about 70 pages in. I'm not devastated yet. Don't think I'm in the right state of mind to be reading this kind of book at the moment, but this fat ass of a book was staring at me every time I went to sleep. And last night I decided this is it. This is it. Wish me luck. <laughs> and I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram. But that said, today is actually a happy day. Because <laughs> the sun is shining, it's almost summer, or it's like prime springtime, I feel like, in Germany. Gonna be summer soon. And what does summer mean? Summer means sadness. Summertime sadness. At least in my case. But also, it does mean lemons. Summer without lemons is really pure summertime sadness. So we don't really want to go there. Instead, let's make some more lemon recipes. I know I've done this kind of a video before, but there just aren't enough lemon recipes in this world. So I just gotta keep making lemon recipes to get my lemon fix. And also, you guys keep sending me lemon recipes. So really, you guys force me to make lemon recipes, which I'm not mad about. This video is heavily inspired by, I think, our second recipe that we will be making today because I had this on my TikTok for you page and I, I was dying. I saw this and I died. It looked so good. Keep an eye out for that one as in like keep watching this video. But we're gonna start with another one which will be something that I feel like I should have made by now but haven't. <sighs> It'll be a lemon sorbet. I'm not the biggest fan of ice cream. I prefer the idea of a sorbet because of its refreshing factor. <laughs> and it just feels lighter. Let's combine that with lemons and make a lemon sorbet. Here's what you need. One and a quarter cup of honey. I've got Blütenhonig. About one cup of water. And I say about one cup because while I did give it my all, these are definitely not one and a half cups of lemon juice, two tablespoons of lemon zest, and lastly, but this is optional and you only add it for texture, a tablespoon of vodka. We shall go over there because we need a saucepan. Are you ready to make a simple syrup? It's quite simple, so let's make that syrup. One cup of honey? I've only just realized. That's so much honey. In this saucepan over medium heat, we're gonna make a simple syrup using the water, lemon zest, and I guess the honey. Wow, this is so much honey, what the fuck? Combine this well and keep stirring while we bring this to a boil and let it simmer for about five minutes. Afterwards, we're gonna set it aside to cool. I prepared like this little bowl with some ice cubes. I at least am gonna like put this into that bowl so that maybe it cools down a little bit quicker. LA, I think my technique worked a little bit. There are not a lot of steps left. There have not been a lot of steps to begin with. Which we love. But to continue, we have to add the rest of the ingredients. The lemon juice. Mm and a tablespoon of vodka. Well, I was hoping I could use this container. My mixture is so much darker than the one in the recipe. Oh, it's totally big enough. Actually, this is a stupid container. I think this is too tall and not wide enough. My mixture doesn't really taste excellent. If you don't have an ice cream maker, then now place this mixture in the freezer and then scrape it with a fork every hour until it is frozen. That's kind of annoying. Hello, so now it's the next day. I feel like my lens is dirty. I've waited probably like eight or nine hours yesterday and it was still not really a survey consistency. I feel like now it should be. That looks so bad. Yeah. Look. Here you have it. Yeah, not gonna lie, it doesn't look like the smoothest sorbet ever, but it looks like a sorbet. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> Ooh, wow, this is very sour. Mm. This is so sour. 
Mmm, that's so nice. This is what I want when I eat lemon sorbet. But at the same time, it's giving a little too much honey. We put so much honey in there that this really isn't a surprise. And it's not a Kehlani song, so it's a little too much of an overkill. It's a little overpowering, the honey. But I love how sour it is. So it's a good recipe. It's not amazing, but it's good. We can continue with the second recipe. I probably will have already told you how I like the sorbet, and I hope that I will have liked it. <laughs> So that we can continue with another great recipe and again this is the one that I saw on TikTok like honestly just look at this TikTok and don't tell me that this is not what dreams are made of this is what dreams I don't know how it goes on and Obviously, we're highly ambitious people, so we want to realize our dreams. We want to make our dreams come true. For that reason, we're gonna make this lemon curd cake. This could be a nice, easy recipe if you, I mean, it, it probably still isn't the most difficult recipe ever, but it'll be even easier if you choose to buy lemon curd. I, you know, I made it from scratch. I made it myself yesterday. I will make half of the cake recipe, but I definitely made the entire lemon curd recipe. Before I tell you what you need for the cake and the frosting, here's what you need to make the lemon curd. Half a cup or 120 milliliters of fresh lemon juice, four large egg yolks at room temperature, three quarter of a cup or 150 grams of granulated white sugar, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon or 10 grams of lemon zest, and lastly, half a cup or 120 grams of unsalted butter, cold and cut into cubes. And to make that lemon curd, we're gonna have to go over there, but I already went over there yesterday. First, you add the lemon juice, the egg yolks, the white sugar, the salt, and the lemon zest to a medium saucepan or pot and whisk everything together. Then you heat that lemon mixture of a medium low heat for 20 to 25 minutes, whisking it frequently until it becomes thick. Afterwards, you remove it from the heat and slowly whisk in the cold cube butter. Once all of the butter is melted in, transfer the curd to a heat-proof small bowl. Place plastic wrap on top of the curd so it doesn't form a skin and allow it to cool completely in the fridge. Which again is what I did yesterday, so here we are today. Ta-da! I've tried this like once or twice or three or four times. So tasty. Butter. And now we shall continue with the cake, which we need the lemon curd fur. Fur. <laughs> Here's what you need to make the lemon cake. 140 grams of all-purpose flour, about three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, one eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda, and one quarter of a teaspoon of salt. 70 grams of unsalted butter, softened, 150 grams of granulated white sugar, well, one and a half large eggs at room temperature, do with that information what you want, half a tablespoon of vanilla, 120 20 milliliters of buttermilk at room temperature and one and a half tablespoons of lemon zest. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and spray a 9 by one pan with nonstick spray and line it with parchment paper. Or just use whatever cake pan you want to use. Ah! Red ball! Hello Kitty mixing bowl. Flour, baking powder, soda, and salt. Actually, whisk it together in a smaller bowl. <laughs> and in that Hello Kitty bowl, you are gonna mix the wet ingredients first. It doesn't have to be a Hello Kitty bowl. The softened butter and the sugar, which is not a wet ingredient, so just don't listen to what I said. We're gonna cream it together. After about two minutes, we add the eggs. Oh. And also the vanilla. And now we mix it again for about one minute or on medium speed until pale in color and smooth. Now we're gonna add the dry ingredients and also the buttermilk to our wet ingredients a little at a time. Mix it on low speed until the cake butter is combined. Lastly guys, fold in the lemon zest. The star of the show. Now get that into your cake pan. Now we bake it for 35 to 40 minutes or until the cake tester comes out clean from the center. And afterwards, we're gonna let the cake cool in the pan completely. In the meantime, <laughs> 
we can already prepare the cream cheese frosting. I mean, on this channel, we have done a couple of cream cheese frosting. And here's what you need for today's cream cheese frosting. 85 grams of softened butter, 85 grams of cold cream cheese, 145 grams of powdered sugar, and about a quarter of a tablespoon of lemon zest. Large mixing bowl, the Hello Kitty one. <laughs> Add the butter to it, flour, and mix it until pale and fluffy for about five minutes. Now on to el queso de crema. <laughs> anyway, add it. Now mix that on high speed for another minute. Now the worst part of any recipe, sift in powdered sugar. Hello! Basically, it's just a matter of assembling the cake now. So our cake, unfortunately, isn't the prettiest, and it's also not the thickest, which is a bit sad, and maybe it also got a little bit dark on the outside, but I don't need this cake to win any beauty contests, so I'm fine with what it looks like. But what I am gonna do is kill it even further by poking holes into the top. The entire top, we're just gonna cover in holes. I think that's enough. Now we need a piping bag. And then simply pipe the curd into the holes. Or not. <sighs> My curd is a little thick. Oh no! <laughs> it's too thick. What do I, what do, do, I do, now? do now? Try and get it in there without piping it. Did I've... you just pop some pimples? <laughs> Uh, this just got really annoying. Okay, this is all I can do guys. If yours is also too thick, maybe heat it up a little in the microwave because obviously there's butter in it and it should get a little bit softer. Now just onto the cream cheese frosting and some more lemon curd. A little too solid. Be wet. We're just gonna put our cream cheese frosting on top. Ta -da! Now I'm also gonna put a little bit of my lemon curd into the microwave for a couple of seconds. It could have been so easy. Now we're just gonna blop it on top. Make some little swirly swirls if you want to. You can also mix it with your frosting. I might just take like a toothpick and be crazy with it. Ooh, oh my god, that's so crazy. Look at that. I cannot believe we finally finished something <laughs> in this video. But anyway, here is my lemon curd cake. Cheerio, let's go, ho ho. If I ever eat a lemon cake again and it doesn't taste as much as lemon as this cake does, I don't want it. This is the most lemony lemon cake I've ever eaten in my life. And it's also giving me life right now. Mm. Honestly guys, if you want a lemon cake, you cannot make it any other lemon cake from now on. This has to be your go-to recipe. And obviously you can adjust the lemon level. Mine, again, is very, very lemony, which I love. It might not be for the faint of heart. Mm. Thank you. Moving on to our last and final, yeah, recipe. For the last recipe, we're gonna make something I hope I have never done on this channel. <laughs> lemon cookies, and not just any lemon cookies. We're gonna make lemon cheesecake cookies. So that is kind of a challenge because I just found out how to make them. So now I'm waiting for stuff to freeze. <laughs> Essentially, it's cream cheese filling wrapped in a lemon cookie dough. Everything's lemon, really. And then covered in lemon sugar. <laughs> As a first step, and I probably could have done that yesterday already. We're gonna have to start with the lemon cheesecake filling. Here's what you need for the filling. 170 grams of cream cheese, cold cream cheese, about 40 grams of granulated white sugar, and about half a tablespoon of lemon zest. And to prepare it, you're gonna add the cream cheese and the sugar to a small bowl. Then you mix it on medium high speed with an electric mixer until fluffy and the sugar has dissolved for about two minutes. And as a last step, you just 
mix in the lemon zest. Then you scoop the cheesecake filling into 16 or however many you'll get out of it. <laughs> two teaspoon portions onto a baking sheet and then you pop these balls into the freezer until they're frozen and very firm. I'm still waiting for that to happen. <laughs> and then you can also prepare the lemon sugar for which you're just gonna mix 100 grams of white sugar and about half a tablespoon of lemon zest and you should rub the lemon zest and the sugar together with your fingers so that you know the lemon zest releases all its oil. Let's now make the dough because it has to chill in the fridge anyway so I hope that by then our cheesecake filling will be frozen. Uh, for the actual cookie dough you will need 220 grams of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of salt and of course about two and a half tablespoons of lemon zest. I've got this freeze-dried one because I ran out of lemons. 170 grams of unsalted softened butter, 165 grams of light brown sugar, two egg yolks at room temperature and a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm running out of bowls so now I've got this ramen bowl in which I'm gonna whisk together the flour baking powder, baking soda, and the salt. Okay, set it aside, baby girl. <laughs> In a large bowl, we're gonna cream the softened butter and the brown sugar. Mix it until fluffy and the sugar has dissolved for about two minutes. We add the egg yolks, also add the vanilla, and then mix on medium speed for about two minutes or for about one more minute um, until pale and fluffy. Now add the lemon zest. So now we add the dry ingredients and combine it on low speed. Now your cookie dough is done. Technically you should now preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius and let the dough chill for another 10 to 15 minutes so it's easier to roll it out. I will just chill mine for a little while longer because again I don't think my cream cheese filling is frozen yet. The cream cheese filling should be frozen now and if not then I'm gonna cry. I will probably do that enough reading a little life. Although I don't cry often when reading books. I did cry at the end of my last book, which was The Selfless Act of Breathing. Very good book. It's very slow, but yeah, during the last couple of pages I was sobbing. We can create our cookies. I'm a little bit not afraid per se, but a little bit like maybe a bit nervous. You should take about one and a half tablespoons of your cookie dough, roll it into a ball. Technically make as many balls as you've got cream cheese filling. We want to bake six cookies at a time so we stop here. Now we slightly flatten out the piece and put in our frozen cream cheese filling and then obviously close it and try and roll it into a ball again without any of the filling popping out. It has to be enclosed. Now keep doing that with all six and then pop them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. <gasps> Guys, I totally forgot to roll them in our lemon sugar in the end. We are done! Look at my cookies! <laughs> Somehow they turned out so differently. This is my first batch. They look pretty cute. I like them a lot. And then this is the second batch. I mean, if I hadn't seen the first batch, then I also wouldn't mind the look of these. So we're gonna go with these ones. Just don't look at these. Yeah, these are really cute. I like them a lot. This is what I want cookies to look like. Question is, is this what we want our cookies to taste like as well? I really don't know what to expect with a cream cheese filling. I don't think I've ever had a cream cheese filled cookie, so I'm excited. It's, ooh, it's kind of breaking apart, so maybe, ooh, what, whoa. Oh, lordy lord, mmm.
These are so good. I don't really know what to say. I think these are some of the best cookies I've ever made. <laughs> if not the best, but I can't really tell anymore. My mouth is still watering, even though I'm kind of sick from trying all of this sweet stuff. Still, my mouth is watering just looking at them now. <laughs> wow, wow, wowie. Okay, um, I'm obsessed right now. It's really good. How am I gonna explain my look? Mmm. I'll do it for you. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oh, are you fake? <laughs> no. Ah. Uh? Mm-hmm. Uh? It's almost like lemon cheesecake filling. That's what what it's called. Oh. I think these are one of the best ones you've ever made. <laughs> Why do you look so sarcastic? Ah, uh, see guys, I wasn't lying. Doesn't happen often that both of us love something. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for this. Again, keep sending me the lemon recipes. I'll just go have some more lemons now. If I don't die of too many lemons, then I will see you guys next week. So all that's left for me to say is Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Y en business vemos la próxima vez. Bye.